What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Ghost Recon Wildlands and today I want to continue some of my coverage on the new Update 15 and all the cool stuff it added. This one really did add a lot of good PvE content. Um, let's go ahead and check out one thing. This must have come with Update 15 because I've not seen these before. These are the Proximity Mines which you can now get. And I don't really see much difference between them and regular mines except for two things. One is that you throw them and they beep... Um, letting you know that they're armed, and from here on out, they work exactly the same as the regular landmines, except for uh, you can actually drive over these without blowing yourself up, which is really cool because I cannot count the times I've driven over mines unknowingly just on accident, you know, my own mines and blew myself up. Now, what I wanted to do today is I want to show you guys some of the cool stuff, if not all of the cool stuff that I can that comes in the new loot crates that came with the update 15. I've shown you some of the stuff. I showed you the skull suppressor in the last video. If you haven't seen that, there'll be, a, there'll be a link to that in the description of the video, as well as at the end of the video, there'll be a link to this playlist. Let's go ahead and uh, now that I've, I've finally gone through and let's make sure here, I believe I've opened every single crate. Yes, yeah, yeah, here you see I have zero left to collect. So we have everything in all the, in all the new crates. So let's check out some of the stuff. First, I want to start with the vehicles because I had several requests to show the vehicles that you can get in the loot crates. People want to know, you know, people want to know what am I going to get if I buy these loot crates? Now you're going to get a lot of emotes. All of this stuff here, all of this stuff here is, um, yeah, there's a lot of emotes you're going you're to be getting. And a lot of people may just see the emotes and think, well, these loot crates are, are you just kind of bunk. There's not much here. That's not true. There's a lot of cool stuff. Let's start off with Military Chopper. That may or may not have come. I, I can't recall everything that exactly came here. So let's go ahead and call this anyway and have a look at this. If this doesn't come with the new loot crates, then forgive me, but I believe so. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, this is one of the new ones. This is the... Uh, the attack helicopter, the Cobra, the Apache, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> people, uh, people have given us a lot of crap because we call them Apaches, but the character calls it Apaches. Um, people say they're actually Cobras. Whatever they are, these things are freaking cool. You got rockets and wait, does it have rockets and guns? Oh, it has a gunner position. That's right. That's right. I forgot. It has a gunner position. So yes, if you have a passenger, you have guns and you have rockets. So this is one of the vehicles you can get with the new loot crates. Let's go ahead and check out one of the others. There's some really cool vehicles here, guys. All right, here we have the armored buggy. The armored buggy is another vehicle that you get with the new loot crates with update 15. Let's go have a look at this. And of course, this is a very common sight. You'll see Unidad driving these around and we've got some enemies here. Let's take care of these enemies. It kind of spawned that a little closer than I thought it would to uh, the base here. Back it up. They're gonna see you. There we go. All right. So this is good. This is nothing new. We've all seen this. This has been in the game for a while. It's it's nice to finally have my own little armored uh, side by side vehicle here. Very cool stuff. Let's move on to the next one. Off roader. This must be new. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> I I still haven't even used all the vehicles I've gotten from the new loot crates yet i kind of bought a bunch opened them said hey cool new toys all right and let's see what we have here some kind of is it just a regular jeep or is there something special about it let's find out oh, it's definitely a cooler looking jeep than you usually get um i don't see anything super special oh it's a unidad 4x4 okay the name was misleading it just said off-roader this is cool i still don't recall them i don't recall seeing them use this this one doesn't have a gun on top it looks pretty tough though Looks damn tough. All right, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and check out the next vehicle. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of emotes and stuff you get in the new loot crates, but there's a lot of vehicles. There are some weapons, and there's some very cool clothing, too. All right, here's something else that's new. Santa Blanca Trophy Buggy. Not exactly sure what to expect here. Oh, it's just a regular trophy truck you see driving up and down the road, I guess. The word buggy kind of threw me off there. Let's see. Yeah, this looks like the regular red, white, and green one. So if you have the previous uh, stuff as well, I can now call both trophy trucks. The black and white one is the fastest, though. In fact, it's the fastest truck in the game. In fact, it's this vehicle, period, in the game. we got us a convoy over there. We're just going to let that roll by because we're busy doing this stuff. All right, here we have the rocket chopper. I did call this in the last video, but we're going to go ahead and call another one anyway. Here you got just your regular um, run-of-the-mill little bird, and it can fire rocket salvo. We're definitely going to check this one out. There's also a Gatling version of it as well. I want to fly both of these and give you guys an idea of 
you know, the characteristics and uh, whatnot. But of course, these are in game. You can find these in the game. It's just that now you can call one yourself if you get it through the loot box, and that's pretty cool. Again, I'm surprised by how many vehicles there actually are in these loot boxes as I got so many emotes and crap I didn't care about. Emotes and, and voice lines. Once we get it up in the air, we can use R1 to fire on the PlayStation anyway, and we can destroy all our lovely other little vehicles that we got. So it's going to fire salvos of eight rockets at a time. It has about, a, looks like a five second or so reload, uh, re, uh, cooldown. Let's see if we can blow up those mines from up here. Now, yeah, pretty cool nonetheless. All right, let's go ahead and sit this guy down. Let's check out the next vehicle on our list. Let's set it down over here. All right, let's see what's next, guys. Next up on our list, we have the Gatling Chopper, the Gatling version of this one, and it appeared over behind us. Let's go, let's go hop in it real quick. All right, here we get the same thing, only with Gatling guns instead of the uh, rocket launchers. I kind of like the rockets. I have a feeling I haven't driven this one yet. I'm not much of a chopper guy. I don't usually fly. I kind of have a feeling I'm going to be a pretty crappy shot with this thing. Let's find out. Of course, it's kind of hard to miss this close. Doesn't do a terrible, you know, a terribly huge amount of damage, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. Let's go ahead and check out what else we got on the menu. Let's pull up our, our wheel here. And we also have the Zeus pickup. Let's see what this is. Well, this is going to be probably the, that white Santa Blanca truck. So here's the white Zeus pickup. We've all seen this at every Santa Blanca base all around Bolivia. Now you can have one of your very own and summon at will. Very cool stuff. Let's go ahead and see what else we've got here. There's quite a few vehicles because I know there's still some more yet to come. All right, here is yet another vehicle which comes in the uh, the new loot boxes with the new update. This is supercharged sedan, so here we're going to have the regular um, Santa Blanca. I guess it's supposed to be a Dodge Charger is my best guess as to what this is supposed to be. It's a cool looking little car, but from my experience, these things are really slow. Unless the Santa Blanca version is fast, because I have the extreme muscle car, and the thing is like the slowest car in the game. Let's see if this is actually fast. Now, it's slow as balls, guys. Yeah, it's a really slow vehicle. I'm not really sure what's up with this, but it's still kind of cool, and you can use it to sneak into a Santa Blanca base if you wish. All right, let's see what's next on the list. And yes, I do hope Ubisoft uh, decides to go ahead and fix this or give us a different way to select cars like maybe you know how you can press you can press this and you can press r3 to switch to social maybe there's another wheel they should make maybe a vehicle wheel is what they should do or, or something a uh, vehicle wheel with, with in each one you know maybe have small many smaller menus instead of one menu with like 30 vehicles in it because it can be a bit much to scroll through these all right so here we have the family sedan which i'm assuming is going to be nothing special this is also available in this week's challenge which is another thing i wanted to address actually just really briefly here can someone explain this to me i have everything complete and it still says i still have one box unchecked so i'm not really sure what the deal is here with this if anyone else is having this problem let me know we have everything completed but uh yeah there you go oh that's regular sedan this is family sedan that's my bad okay so this is going to be the oh this is the cadillac this is like the the scent of like a cadillac okay very cool all right, we've all driven these. You've seen these around. So that's that's the regular sedan that you get from the challenge. It's my bad. This is the family sedan. All right, here we have the buggy. I think this might be one of the new ones. I'm not sure. I'm not going to bother calling it because I could be wrong. This could have been from a previous, the previous set of loot boxes. But we all know what the buggy is. It's the little two-seater and a dad buggy. We all know what that is. Let's find something else that comes with the new stuff here. So this is where it gets uh, a little annoying when you got to start scrolling through all of this this i think is new because i've never seen this before now, i could be wrong on this one i'm going to go ahead and call this one this is the it's that inca textured uh truck but this one actually has armor and a gun on it so that's actually pretty cool i think this is new because i haven't seen this before it's going to be just like the zeus pickup only with the fancy dancy little inca paint job very cool stuff so no you know not just plain white all right, next up, we're going to have us, uh, let's see what's next, Inc the regular Inca vehicles. These come from the previous other stuff. VIP SUV. Oh, that's going to be the gold one. Okay, yeah, that's, that's previous content. There's still more stuff here, guys, I promise. Here we go, old school truck. What is this? Let's find out. I'm actually not sure. This is one I've not called yet. 
if you're wondering how much money did it cost to get all of the loot boxes from update 15 i didn't exactly keep track but i'd say around about whew, 50 bucks maybe i dropped on loot boxes here and there and i, I just finally just said screw it and just uh got them all so quite a bit of money but you get a lot of cool stuff it's up to you if it's worth it or not so here we have a, a comms convoy truck very cool i wonder if there's passenger room in it let's see if there's room for passengers i haven't driven this yet no it looks like this is just going to be a two-man vehicle i wonder if it's as tough as the comms truck you know those things are tough let's see it looks like there's only room for one passenger so we can get this and we can play convoy now how about that very cool this is old school truck why is it called old school I don't think they call it comms truck. I don't know. Let's check out the next vehicle on the list, shall we? All right, here we have Tractor. Yes, I know, I know. It's amazing. They put the ultimate getaway vehicle in the game. You can now summon. We now have access to the ultimate getaway vehicle. Let's try it out. I see it kind of looks like a toilet. <laughs> there we go. Can they, oh, can they climb on this? Oh, yes, you can hold one passenger. Okay, I was making a joke when I said it's the ultimate getaway vehicle. This is, I thought it was one of the regular tractors. This actually is, you know, I, I dare say this is probably faster than that supercharged sedan. <laughs> I was making a joke when I said this is a good getaway, uh, good getaway vehicle. It might not actually be that bad. Wow. I think it's actually faster than this sedan. How about that, guys? There's a lot of new stuff to check out here. I mean, there's a lot of content that there really is that comes with, with this, this new update. Another request I had, which I will do in the next video, is people were asking me, I have my all-female team here, and people were asking me uh, what the uh, gear was. I dressed them all up in. That'll be the next video. Okay, the next uh, car is ready to summon. There's still more tanker. So I guess this is going to be the tanker convoy truck. Let's Let's call it here and see. All right, no, this is not the tanker from the convoy. This is just a random tanker truck. Let's see if there's anything cool or special I can do with it. Probably not. Oh, stupid, you can't, like, uh, <laughs> turn the fuel on and, I don't know, do something cool. <laughs> like, spray fuel all over the place or something. All right, so it's just going to be a two-person vehicle. That's a little winch in the front. Too bad I can't use that. I'm sure a lot of the vehicles have winches. I just never bothered to notice. All right, so this thing is um, pretty big and slow. I wonder if it makes a big explosion when you blow it up. Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. Looks like it's probably going to be a, just a pretty normal explosion. All right, guys, there's still more cars to check out. I also want to hit some of the weapons and some of the cooler uh, cosmetic options. The thing's pretty tough, though. That grenade didn't take it out all the way. I mean, not instantly. Of course, I am on tier mode, so and this rifle's not leveled up all the way. That could be why... Here we go, the DIY armor truck. This was a much requested one. This is one of my very favorites. This one is freaking cool. Now, we drove this a bit the other night, uh, some friends and I. We got on ghost mode and we cleared out, uh, what, what was it, guys? It was San Mateo. We cleared out and we drove this around. Now, this does hold all four of your, uh, your team here. Let's hop in back. You can hop in back and you can shoot from the back. So... It, it looks like you might not be able to, but you can indeed shoot from the back. Let's go ahead and drive this thing around a little bit here. See how it runs. I wonder if you can shoot the passenger window. I don't think so, or maybe you can. Let's find out. Can you shoot from the passenger side window? Yes. Somehow, you're able to lean out that little tiny slit. All right, then. Let's go ahead and give room for her to get in. This thing's great. This is fun. This is like the ultimate. This is like a zombie apocalypse truck. If zombies ever attack, I'm building me one of these for sure. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and check out what's next up on the list. There's, I think there still might be more. Here we go. Of course, the armored digger. We all know what this is. This is the. Uh, this is going to be that big armored digger which appears in the last mission of the game when you go up against El Sueño. Well, it's there at the El Sueño Mausoleum, but... That mission is where some people actually use it. I um, I believe this seats everyone, if I recall correctly. Nope, it seats three. It only seats three of your team. But man, this thing is... <laughs> this thing is gnarly. I bet it'll flip this DIY truck. Uh, maybe if I didn't hit it all jacked up. Wow, this thing is so cool. I think there's still more vehicles. There's a lot, man. Oh yes, the private jet. I haven't I haven't called this yet, so I actually don't know what this is. This also comes in the new loot boxes. 
and that's not a jet. But okay, this is uh, the private jet. And uh, you can find these airplanes at the airports. I'm not sure if you... I think you can drive these. Yeah, you can fly these. Well, now you, now you can call your own. Let's go ahead and... Oh, that was just a... Whoops, my bad. That was just a Lamborghini. It was nothing important. Come on, guys. Hop in. Let's see. If, let's see uh, this should seat everyone. Um... Yes, the seats, everyone. I can see them there in the back. All right. That's cool. So this is your own private jet. I guess in Bolivia they call this a jet. All right. Let's see. Is there anything left? Let's go in here and let's check out some of the weapons and cosmetic things that you can get. First, let's have a look at the cosmetics, or at least some of the highlights anyway. One thing that's new is you can change your gender. Um, that of your character and of your teammates. That's kind of cool. I don't believe there's any new vest. Well, there's the there's the new exoskeleton, and this is part of uh, ghost mode, and that's something we're going to be going over in a future video. I am working on ghost mode. I did lose about nine hours of progress the other day when I died, so I'm working on a new loadout, new strategy, new way to you know kind of tackle that. I don't think there's any new pants, really. Actually, there are. There's a new ghillie suit, guys. There's the llama ghillie suit which looks a lot like strands, but more like really shaggy llama, llama hair. So that's definitely something kind of cool there. There's also a top for it. When you go to, um, I'll, get, I'll show you guys over here again. It looks a lot like strands. Here it is, llama. So here's the llama suit, and it only comes in shades of brown and white. Still very cool. New shoes. I don't think there's any new shoes except for the exoskeleton. And again, we'll cover that later. Nothing nothing super special there anyway. Accessories is where you're going to find a lot of new stuff. Let's check eyewear. Yeah, we have the steampunk glasses and the steampunk goggles. If you like these, that's cool. Uh, these both come in the new, the new battle crates. Let's have a look at face wear. There's going to be... Well, let's find out here. The exoskeleton helmet. That, again, that's going to be ghost mode. Watchdogs 2 scarf. This is uh, this comes in the new loot crates. One whole skull balaclava. Very cool stuff. I think there's quite enough skull masks in the game now, but you know that's cool. Monocular helmet. This also comes with it. There's two monocular helmets. This one's uh, they're all right. I'm not sure it's my style, but we also have a ninja balaclava. Very cool. If you could combine it with the with the correct headwear, the rapture mog. This actually comes in the Rainbow Six. Uh, Ghost pack, so you may or may not. I would imagine you could. I would imagine you would get this stuff along this, the 416, etc. I imagine you would get this in the crates. I imagine you would. So we have the Rap Shamog and has many different colors. Okay, apparently the other monocular is going to be under headwear. That's odd. Wait a second. Hold up, hold up. Let's go back to face wear. I just realized that monocular helmet was under face wear. Probably because, you know why? It's a helmet. It's under face wear because it comes with an included balaclava. It covers your head and your face. I guess that's why I decided to put it there. Let's have a look at headwear. Here we have a lot of these cool helmets. Finally, you can play Unidad. You can get a proper Unidad looking helmet with these like riot style, um, like SWAT looking helmets. The problem is the uh, the visor is always up, and I don't know. I don't know of a way to close the visor. There's several of these. There's this one, the Adlin helmet. There's also the SAT helmet. Okay, right here we have the other monocular helmet. This is just a helmet. doesn't come with a balaclava or anything. It's just a helmet, and it has the uh, little monocular night vision. This is my personal favorite uh, face shield helmet. I like the way it has the cloth wrapped around the back, and, of course, you can change the camo on that and make it all look nice and cool. I love this one. This is my very favorite of these. There are There is some surgeon gear. This, I believe, just came with Update 15 because I didn't have to buy any crates. I already had it. Personally, there's a helmet and there's gloves and there may be a couple more pieces. Let's go on down and check out. Okay, there's no new headsets. So let's go on to the guns, guys, and then we're going to call this quits and we're going to move on to some other stuff in the next video. There are some new guns you can get in the loot crates. I want to check out the cool ones. So we're going to have the, the 1911 Marsoc. This comes in the crates. I haven't used it yet. Some of my friends say it's really great. That's cool. I assume it's just going to be a basic 1911 with a suppressor, you know. What else comes in the new crates? We also have, let's go down here, Louis Son. This is currently in my ghost mode loadout. Ah, it's a nice, handsome little gun. I like this one. It's cool. I like the wrapped suppressor. It just kind of looks nifty. And there's going to be, oh yeah, this also comes in the new loot crates. Just a different Desert Eagle, I guess. If that's your thing, there we go. And 
Well, let's check it. Let's do check out the, the, the 416. I already had a video testing and showing this. This is a great weapon that is going to probably come in loot crates. It comes with the rainbow six pack. I don't recall there being any other new ones. So I could be wrong on this. I don't, I, I don't think there's going to be any other assault rifles in the, the new crates. Again, we're looking at the new crates here. Um, so forgive me if I'm off on that and, um, Forgive me if, if there is. I don't think there's any new of these. The only new real weapons I recall getting was going to be... Ah, uh, here's shotgun. I believe this is going to be new. I haven't seen this before. Basically, this is a full-auto shotgun with like a revolver um, cylinder. Holds six shots, full-auto. Yeah, so it's six shots, full-auto. Let's go ahead and equip it. I can show you this one, too. This is uh, This is interesting. And it comes with a suppressor, too. The main thing with this gun is it reloads super fast. Watch this. Look how fast that reloads. Let's see if I can even get her to do it. Yeah, so the main benefit of of this thing, the Rev SG12, is that it... Oh, wow. It's very powerful for one because I just destroyed that armor truck with it. And it also reloads super duper fast there's a new sniper rifle which you can get in the new crates let's go ahead and find it i forget what it's called frs or something let's find it here there's getting to be a lot of weapons in this game so many they're just other versions of other ones you know but let's see where's it at there it is frf2 that's my bad on the name frf2 let's have a look at this if it looks a lot like the PSG one, does it not? Maybe it just has the same magazine, but this is a 338 rifle. It doesn't look big enough to be a 338 to me, but it is. It's a 338 rifle, which means it should take the skull suppressor. Let's go ahead and see. It is fully modifiable. Let's see what we can modify with it. That uh, the shotgun, of course, was not modifiable. Yes, yeah, so you can put the skull suppressor on this because the fires, again, it seems to be kind of a common thing amongst the 338s. You can put a standard or a long barrel. Doesn't look like there's a real attachment. It is a bolt action 338, and it takes all the scopes. So there you go. One great thing about this gun is finally they gave us a gun with a wooden stock. I think this is like the only modifiable weapon that has a wooden stock. I'd love it to give us a version of the AK 47 with a wood stock. I know I'm not alone there. So this weapon has a really cool look and feel to it. It should do about the same damage and stuff as the other snipers, of course. As the other 338 snipers, of course, will be testing this in the near future. I think that's about it, guys. Now, there was one more weapon I got, which I think comes from the new crates. I don't recall seeing it before. I could be wrong, though. This could have been... Here it is. This could have come earlier. The Golden Vector. But I got this with the new crates, I do believe, and I have not seen it before. So here we got a pretty snazzy-looking Vector, I gotta say. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for all the pretty much. I mean, I probably, I may have missed a thing here or two, but that's about it guys. That's everything that comes in the crates and the new update 15, along with, of course, a lot of the emotes. You're going to get a lot of emotes until you're just sick of getting them. But some, to some people, they may be really cool. And some people may really want to use them. Let's go ahead and get my, my 416 back here. Some people may really want to use those emotes. They are kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and pull this up. Let's see. And then there's, there's a ton of these and I forget how you equip them. Actually, I forget where you go to equip them, but there's way more that there's way more than show up here. And there's a menu you can equip them through and it's probably right here. I'm just being blind, but yeah. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and end this here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all so much for uh, tuning in. It's been a real pleasure. Let's take out this Unidad before we go. Oh, they're creeping. Oh, they're going to... They're not liking me. Oh, and I'm dead. All right, perfect place to end the video. Why did that rifle not kill the, the, the car in two shots? I don't know. Probably because it's only level 16. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. That's all the new stuff that comes in the battle crates and tier uh, in uh, update 15 for Ghost Recon Wildlands. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been a real pleasure. I'm Dark Deli. I will catch you guys next time.